Hey, sixth graders in cohort C. You guys are the ones that are fully remote, not coming into school. So I'm recording this for you, but you know what? Any sixth grader can see this uh, if you need a refresher. So I'm going to show you how to log into this uh, class craft thing and kind of tell you what it's all about. So I'm going to start by logging into my Google account. I mean, once you're logged in on your computer on your Google account, you know, make sure you use this Google account for everything. Let's see if I got my password right. Yeah. Um, and since you're going to be the only one using your computer, uh, you can tell it to remember your password, but you know that it's safest not to. Well, in your packet, you've got a uh, handout that looks like this, Classcraft, and it should have your name on it. Make sure it's got your name on it and that you're in the right cohort. And you're going to see a student code and a parent code. Your parents can attach themselves to your account. That's pretty cool. You get some perks when you do that. But I'm going to show you how to create a new account using your student code. Let me see if I can highlight this and copy it. Yeah, it's not working. Oh well, that would have been an easy way. Let's start with step number one. Go to game.classcraft.com slash student. I'm just going to type that in right here. Game.classcraft.com slash student. And while that's loading, I'm going to go back here and it says, when asked, enter your student code. And the student code is up here. It's not the one down here, so, you know, be careful with that. It's I4GBW. I4GBW. P-I-H. P-I-H. And next. And when you sign up, uh, choose Google because it makes things so much easier. It's going to launch this window. Okay, now when you first start the game, this part is kind of important. So you can't really do this until you know who your teammates are. Because here's what's going to happen. Depending on who your teammates are, you really are going to be able to play the game best if you have one guardian, one mage, and one healer. They each get different powers to play while you're doing your schoolwork. So for example, if you break a rule or, or we get a random event where you take damage and you lose health points, known as HP, it's the guardians who can protect. So they can take the damage for you because they have better armor and they take less damage than you would have taken. Well, once somebody takes damage, either guardians protecting or somebody for whatever reason, it's the healers who can heal and get you your health points back. But in order for you to use your healing powers or your protecting powers, you have to have action points, AP. And that's where the mages come in. They're the ones who replenish your action points. So without the mages, once you run out of action points, luckily you do get some every night, about seven a night, but it'll take you like two days before you can use your powers again. Whereas if you have a mage that has enough AP to replenish your AP, you can do your uh, work right away. You can access your powers. So that's going to be really important. So you don't want to do this step until you know who your teammates are. Um, so if you don't have your teammates yet, wait to sign in to Classcraft. So I'm going to pick the mage. I mean the guardian. And then this part's cool. You get to pick what you want uh, your guardian avatar to look like. Let's see, I think I want, ooh, yeah, I want this one. And now here's the thing. You have to gain experience points and level up before you get a second power. But once you start the game at level one, you get to pick your first power. So guardians, you can pick protect one, first aid, or dodge. Uh, and these are all pretty cool. So you gotta read what each one says and what it gives you. All right, you see that there. And then you pick your power, and you go to next. 
Now this part, uh, you can choose your crest options, but you gotta let me know what your team chose, and maybe Mr. Brennan can help with that, because I'm the one who sets it up for you. So you make your choices, and then write down what they are somewhere, and maybe in uh, Google Classroom or something, you can let uh, me know so I can do that. And then look at that. You gained XP just for doing this correctly. Oh, and you can start playing. And then there's an intro quest that you can start just to learn how to do quests because on Classcraft, I assign all the Google Classroom assignments and work you're going to do, you're going to get through Classcraft. So you always go to Classcraft first for science. And this is how it works. Quests start with an introduction, and this has a video that you're going to play. And then you click on Start the Quest. And once you start, it tells you where to go. So my only choice is New Beginnings. So I'm going to click on New Beginnings, and I'm going to follow the instructions, read the story, uh, and do what it tells me. This is going to be great. I've been doing this with 6th graders, 7th graders, and 8th graders for years, and they all love it. You're going to love it too. So your first job, figure out who your team is, and then figure out what class you're going to play, Guardian, Mage, or healer, and then go to that handout I gave you and start the game so you can choose your first power and you can do this practice quest uh, and learn all about Classcraft. And the nice thing about Classcraft is if you have any questions, you just go down here to messaging and you go to sixth grade with my face on it <laughs> when I had hair. <laughs> Shaved it off to keep it easy. And you can ask me a question. So you can say, Mr. G, how do I get a new power? And, uh, you know, in case you have a question like that, <laughs> I can tell you the answer. The answer is like, you got to gain experience points and level up. Now, while I got you here, i got to show you one more thing. You know, if you look through here, you can see different things. But I want you to go to pets because you have a pet that you have to start training. So Guardians, we get Dash, the Trickster, first. And if you train Trickster through all 10 missions, you get 150 gold. So you want to start this training. And look, it's going to be done in a day. Dash has to go to a nearby farmer's backyard and raid the coop for dinner. Yeah, poor Dash. Um, and then you're wondering, what gold? What do I do with gold? You're going to go to equipment here. And when you level up, you get to buy new gear. So check it out. This is the first level guardian, trickster, the ranger. You get to buy new gear. And the more gold you have, you can probably buy all your gear at once. But if you don't have enough, you can still buy it piece by piece. Like you can just focus on and buy the arm, the chest piece, the boots, the helmet, the pants, the shield, the uh, thing gauntlet that goes on your hand. And then once your pet's trained, you can equip them and have your pet stand with you as your avatar. So try that out first. There's a lot to learn here. I think you're going to love it. But let's get started by getting your account set up after you've chosen your teams. Good luck.